chapter 21. But Job answered and said, Hear diligently my speech, and let this be your consolations. Suffer me that I may speak, and after that I have spoken, mock on. As for me, is my complaint to man? And if it were so, why should not my spirit be troubled? Mark me, and be astonished, and lay your hand upon your mouth. Even when I remember I am afraid and trembling, take hold of my flesh. Wherefore do the wicked live, become old, yes, are mighty in power. Their seed is established in their sight with them, and their offspring before their eyes. Their houses are safe from fear, neither is the rod of God upon them. Nor their bull genders and fails not, their cow calves and casts not her calf. They send forth their little ones like a flock, and their children dance. They take the tremble of harp and rejoice at the sound of an organ. They spend their days in wealth, and in a minute, moment go down to the grave. Therefore they say unto God, Depart from us, for we desire not the knowledge of these ways. What is the Almighty, that we should serve him? And what profit should we have if we pray unto him? Lo, their God is not in their hand. The counsel of the wicked is far from me. How oft is the candle of the wicked put out, and how often comes their destruction upon them? God distributes sorrow in his anger. They are as stubble before the wind, as chafe and the storm carries away. God lays up his iniquity for his children. He rewards him, and he shall know it. His eyes shall see the destruction, and he shall drink of the wrath of the Almighty. For what pleasure has this house after him? when the number of his months is cut off in the midst. Shall any teach God knowledge, seeing he just judges those that are high? One dies in his full strength, being wholly at ease and quiet. His breasts are full of milk and his bones are moistened with marrow. And another dies in the bitterness of his soul and never eats with pleasure. They shall lie down alike in the dust and the worms shall cover them. Behold, I know your thoughts and the devices which you wrongfully imagine against me. For you say, Where is the house of the prince, and where are the dwelling places of the wicked? Have you not asked them that go by the way, and do not know their tokens, that the wicked is reserved to the day of destruction? They shall be brought forth to the day of wrath. Who shall declare his way to his face, and who shall repay him what he has done? Yet shall he be brought to the grave, and shall he remain in the tomb? The clods of the valley shall be sweet unto him, and every man shall draw after him, as there are innumerable before him. How then comfort you me in vain, seeing that your answers there remains falsehood? Chapter 22 Then Alphaz the Temanite answered and said, Can a man be profitable unto God, as he that is wise may be profitable unto himself? Is it any pleasure to the Almighty that thou art righteous, or is it a gain to him that thou makes the ways perfect? He will reprove thee for the fear of thee. Will he enter with thee into judgment? Is not thy wickedness great, and thine iniquities infinite? For thou hast taken a pledge from the brother of not, and stripped the naked of their clothing. Thou hast not given water to the weary to drink, and thou hast withholden bread from the hungry. But as for the mighty man, he had the earth, and the honorable man dwelt in it. Thou hast sent widows away empty, and the arms of the fatherless have been broken. Therefore snares are round about thee, and sudden fear troubles thee, or darkness that thou cannot see, and abundance of waters cover thee. Is not God in the height of heaven? And behold, the height of the stars, how high are they? And thou says, How does God know? Can he judge through the dark cloud? Thick clouds are a covering to him that he sees not, and he walks in the circuit of heaven. Has thou marked the old way which wicked men have trodden, which were cut down out of time, whose foundation was overflown with a flood, which said unto God, Depart from us, and what can the Almighty do for them? Yet he filled their houses with good things, and the counsel of the wicked is far from me. The righteous see it and are glad, and the innocent laugh them to scorn. Whereas our substance is not cut down, but the remnant of them the fire consumes. Acquaint now thyself with him, and be at peace. Thereby good shall come unto thee. Receive, I pray thee, the law from his mouth, and lay up his words in thine heart. If thou return to the Almighty, 
thou shalt be built up, and thou shalt put away iniquity far from thy tabernacles. Then shalt thou lay up gold as dust, and the gold as Ophar as the stones of the brooks. Yes, the Almighty shall be the defense, and thou shalt have plenty of silver. For then shalt thou have thy delight in thy Almighty, and shall lift up the face unto God. Thou shalt make thy prayer unto him, and he shall hear thee, and thou shalt pay thy vows. Thou shalt also decree a thing, that it shall be established unto thee, and the light shall shine upon thee always. When men are cast down, then shall thou say, There is lifting up, and he shall save the humble person. He shall deliver the island of innocent, and it is delivered by the pureness of thine hands. This is the word of the Lord. Thank you, Lord. I love you with all my heart. In your loving name I pray. Amen.